My name is Rajeshri Shah. I was born in India and I moved to the UK with my family when I was about eight years old. My name's Paris um, Shah and we're in Essex and I'm an accountant. We started beekeeping uh, sort of like July last year, so it's July 2016. And we took our first beekeeping course in April 2016. So I would say, you know, roughly about 14 months since then. We had one hive last year and now we have three hives with three colonies in them. So it's, it's going pretty good. I think having bees as a family, you know, it, for us it's kind of like a little project that we can all, you know, we've all got our little roles and, you know, getting our son involved. There is a lot of kids out there that are scared of bees and anything that flies and moves and like, ah! And I'm, I don't want that for my son. I want him to fully embrace mother nature and kind of go, okay, this is what it is. It's mud, it's this, it's that. You know, can you see honey? Yeah. <gasps> look, there's a fly. Yeah. Hey. Can you see? Look, 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 Addy, look, 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 look. Are you going to taste it? Baby, oh. look. <gasps> look. <gasps> What's that? The bees are very calm, so he he really can get up to the hive, and they're really really friendly. I mean, he he can actually enjoy being with the bees and watch how the bees are bringing the honey. So that's just made it more a more an interactive way of beekeeping. We harvest the honey together, um, and, and I think we've really enjoyed that family time together. My wife and I, we went from the bee course together, and we've really enjoyed beekeeping. I would say, do your research, do the course first. Talk to people, make sure you have a network of people you can count on. For us, it was really important that our beekeeping club would, you know, we can pick up the phone to anybody at any time to sort of say, oh, we've got this question, this is happening, what do we do? And I think that network is so important. But most importantly, you've got to look at your bees, you've got to listen to what they're saying and doing and let them guide you. Do it with your eyes wide open and be open to kind of you know, learning from the mistakes and see it as a journey. Don't be put off at the first couple of hurdles and challenges. I think the whole thing is quite, it's therapeutic. You could sit there for hours and, you know, you don't know where the time's gone, which is what I really have enjoyed doing. I think, it, you know, it, it, it's very parallel to what life sort of throws at you. You have these ambitions and intentions, but life will kind of go, okay, do you know what? That may be all lovely and wonderful, but here is a different platter of things. And you have to work with that. Bees have really taught us to kind of be patient and be in that moment and pay attention to what you're doing. And the more present you are, the less aggravated the bees are. They, they pick up on that energy. <laughs>